right. So, um, research-wise, you get the, the walls up. We want masonry to get masonry. Yeah, and we're talking about walls. Consider right? building walls. Yeah, okay, give them a point um, in time. Cool. Cool. Do you think our scout's gonna make it? Yeah. Once he gets over that river, he'll be he's drive. Let's send out our slinger again to where he was before. We got a great person. Hey, That's interesting. And we got profit. the profit. Okay. Cool. So let's just get a profit. And we'll send him to the holy site. And we'll make our religion. Uh we'll make we'll we'll, we'll choose choose production just quickly. Oh my god, look how cheap that builder is. Probably Should we get the get. builder? We'll get another builder. I mean, what a third builder. Mm, yeah, probably not. We're already building a builder down south actually as well. Just fuck it. We're now at five pop. We want to make sure we're working tiles that are improved. Yeah. In this city, it's working a couple of tiles that are unimproved. This one. So where's the next district going? Because obviously one. we don't want to improve a tile where a district's going to go. And we're going to go. Oh, we were thinking plaza here and thinking industrial here. We could build the plaza in the other city. Can we build the plaza here? Yeah. I think uh, we probably should. Or we can, can we build it here yet? Uh, sorry. I mean, uh, seven, seven part. Pop. So we can't because we built two districts already. I guess. Um, let's go and build. Let's fucking send this guy down here, and we'll improve this. We'll improve this, and we'll use him to mm. help chopping. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, he can just go down the road, and then let's top over the river. We'll run over <laughs> Keep running away. <laughs> All right. So, I think now we've got our dark age has happened. We are going to want to change our cards to the dark age cards. Yeah, as possible. but we yeah, but that we need but political is, philosophy before is, we can do it because is, we need the wild card slot. Exactly, we need that government to do that anyway. So we're we're on time. Yeah. We're doing fine. There's a lot of things that that happen in a certain order in this game now, and it's mm. kind of tricky because you think, oh, I'll slot the wild card in. Oh, I don't, can't do it because of this. Yeah. Or oh, I'll start building this building in the government plaza. Oh, I can't do it because. So if we hadn't taken it. that detour into mysticism, yeah, we'd we'd be there now. So the government plaza, I'm gonna build it in this city, but. It, you can't build the buildings in it until Til we've got the philosophy. Got this. And look how far away this is. Imagine if I hadn't built any settlers still. Yeah. I feel like I'd be really dropping behind. I'm yeah. glad I got this city down because mm -hmm. this is the kind of a core one I needed. I feel like I feel like I'm gonna go. I'm gonna get that city down regardless. That's in my borders. That's gonna mm -hmm. be safe. Even if someone's forward settled me here, I'm still going here. Considering that that barb camp is there, I think you can get that natural wonder. I don't think there's a player there. That camp would be dead by now. But I feel like in a multiplayer game, I've already got, this is all the land I'm going to get. So in a way, I don't mm. want to play this game. Right, as if, you want to play it as if you're against As humans. if it's a single player game. Yeah. If, it, if I'm playing single player Civ, it doesn't matter. But if I'm playing mm. multiplayer Civ, there's no way I'm sitting on this river. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Someone else is going to have been there before me. Every fucking time. Mm. Um, I feel like I'm lucky to have grabbed these slots, honestly. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> this, you guys are really close to each other. I'm really happy with these three cities. I think they're mm. really strong cities. And I think I can form a, a game-winning empire if I build a city here, a city here, and a city here. Mm. And that'll be my five cities, governors in there. Only six. And then I'm done. Mm. I don't really need to look beyond these rivers because mm. I feel like that's where other people settle. Fair enough. Unfortunately, yeah, that's just the way I feel. Um um, we are the second to form a religion. So Catholicism has warrior monks and the Watts. So this is, warrior monks is the new tenet, which is really good if you can slam your Very originally. strong, isn't it? Allow spending faith to train warrior monks, medieval land units with a unique cremation tree. Yeah. They're cool. They're fun. They're and they, good. And it's just loads of free units. Well, not free, but the units you're buying with faith instead of production. So, so if, if I was playing that desert map mm. with heavy faith, or the tundra, tundra thing with heavy faith coming yeah, in, then that would be strong. I'd very strongly consider warrior monks. Mm. Uh, the, the AI tends to prioritize religions more mm. than players than we do in our games, yeah. but I think we should consider religions more than we do. Obviously, this is only good for early war. Mm. Do you want to go to early war? Probably not. Well, um, it's good if someone else is about to early war you as well. Exactly. It's good for defence. It will stop them coming in. Mm. Um, however, this doesn't scale well. Oh, yeah. The, it's it's, it's the strong in the, in the early to early mid. It's but cool. Then it's worthless after that. But I don't think it's actually very good, <laughs> is what I'm getting at. Mm. Uh, we will pick uh, a religion. What would cool. you like to pick, Ben? Um, the wise teaching of the Ben The wise Lewis. teaching of, of Elephantes. Please check... The Yorkscast subreddit, if you want actual advice in the threads. <laughs> the wise elephant for helping noobs. 
Apparently Why is elephant very long say? name? And yeah, yeah. No, no, okay, that's actually it. the max length. <laughs> um, <laughs> so we can pick a thing. We can only pick from these eight, actually. Mm. Um, but this is the religion booth, and then the, the next one will be the the building. And there's lots to pick from in those. Um, housing, not irrelevant. Mm. Are we going to build more holy sites? Probably not. Uh, would we like to spend our late game faith on campus and theater square district buildings? Maybe. Uh, world Wonders, not building any, are we? And they're fairly tricky to build. Hmm. Food from shrines and temples. I don't know. Again, like this is one of the things that I'm not particularly None of these at. are great for us, are they? Um, because I, I be quite like the housing, honestly. I think probably housing, because all the other ones rely on us getting a lot of faith out of that holy site. And it's that holy site does not make a lot of faith. I mean, basically, if you imagine, like, these are the... They're not ordered very well, because they're all a bit random. But imagine hmm. that, that your holy site buildings give food... Mm. Or they give a housing, or they give culture. Mm. Um, these food is not bad, but housing our, is not bad. Our places make so little faith. The housing is you always get housing regardless. These ones are dependent on how much faith you're outputting. Yeah, and we're only making one faith turn at the moment. Our holy site, um, but this is a shrine and temple, so it's the two the two faith you get from a shrine. It's also two food. Oh, and so I see. shrines become two I faith see. and two food, or right, two right, faith right, right. and two. And culture. then when you upgrade them to temples and cathedrals, they it's even more. Yeah, and I mean, right. this is not bad. These, these are both pretty good. Well, the thing is, culture's not a bad shout because we're probably not building theatre districts for ages. It's not bad. And honestly, like, there's quite a few things you want to get with your culture, and it's fairly fucking slow. So maybe that's one of the few things that's going to give us culture. Maybe yeah, why that. not? Let's just do it for fun. Uh, we don't know. Look it up. This is one of the things that's really tricky for me to figure out. If we wanted to try and actually get some decent faith generation, mm. this might be legit. I feel like all we're going to be doing is taking our religion, putting it in a city-state and doing that. However, we've yeah. not fucking found any city-states nearby, no. so I feel like we've always fucked ourselves a little bit. By going big religion. <laughs> um, however, we might find one across the sea. We send a mission over there, yeah. we give them the religion, we slap a load of envoys in there. Yeah, I mean, it still can happen. Um, Basically, we don't have anything to spend our faith on yet, so we probably shouldn't be getting stuff that gives us lots of faith. When you send an envoy to a city state, it adds 200 religious pressure. Oh. <laughs> so we could just, it could just be like... Send in one seed. A seed. <laughs> one seed envoy. A senvoy. Yeah. There's a lot of choice here and I'm Ooh, afraid maybe missionaries like, and apostles we're are not cheaper? particularly good. Because we're not generating a lot of faith and we need the missionaries to spread the religion. That seems like a legit idea. These are, these are classically very good. Combat Spend units gain 10 combat strength yeah. when defending. Really powerful, if like it, one of the most defensive things yeah. you could have. If in India game. declares war on us, we will we, want that. And it might be worth it just for the sake of this playthrough not dying. Yeah, okay. Um, I'd be to pick Defender of the Faith, the most powerful one. Um, I think we can afford. We can. I think we can afford the thirty percent extra faith cost yeah. of a fucking missionary. Uh, and there we go. Cool. Elephants are helping noobs is already moving towards a golden age at a rate of knots. We. I think honestly, Ben. We'll struggle, we'll struggle to, we'll, we'll overshoot it. We'll definitely hit heroic. Um, right, so we've done the quarry, and we've got our builder coming in to start chopping stuff down. So, we kind of mistimed this ever slow slightly here. I know, if we'd got political philosophy a bit earlier, we'd have got a bigger benefit. It would, um, it would have been nice, well, partly because I put the wrong card in. If yeah. I put the right card in, we would have had yeah, the builder. Yeah. I, I hate back. building the builder with that card, because it's like, oh, it's so, so waste. <laughs> But it, I should have just built the builder straight away and, and just yeah. sucked it up. And then I would have been able to chop this, chop this. Well, and we then missed the we card twice, ahead. didn't we? That's the problem. <laughs> like... Meanwhile, this city has been working on unimproved tiles, which is, again, terrible thing to do. This city's unimproved tiles. Oh, yeah. Well, they're all building builders. We're, we're, we're doing but our we best. Are, we, are, we are catching up. Um, and we will... It's probably a hut. We have not found a single goody hut. Did we not find a single one? Nope. In the whole time? Nope. Well, in fact, that's not bad, because again, Bullshit. historic moments. That's true. Well, we want to find them now, but I think there aren't any to find. It's a little bit, little bit late. Uh, I wonder can't. if it's a time when, like, you would literally not take a goody hut in order to stay in a dark age. Yeah, isn't that a horrible that's, that's thing a to weird do? Situation, isn't it? Um, so um, the the thing about this is that I'm thinking we want to potentially, at least at one point, put in the red policy for walls, but we can put that into a wild card. So I think we still take this one. No, the wild card's going to be our Dark Age card. For now. Yeah. But again, once we go into the Heroic Age, maybe that's when we quickly build walls in all the cities. Mm. Again, like I, I'm doing it as like a 
economic thing. And also, it's a little bit far away. Um, let's just quickly just... Quickly well, yeah, actually, the, 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 the wall building card is miles off. It is, it is miles it's off. It's miles away. But it's, um, well, you say miles away, it's next. It's, well, it's, it's, it's 13, 13 turns, turns away. We're not going to research construction probably in time. I, I find it difficult to research construction in yeah, time to get very that difficult often. to get. Um, and it's only 20 culture anyway, so it's not the worst. But, um, I mean, this is the right direction, though. Bear in mind, mm. we want to go this way. Yes. We don't really want to dead end ourselves too much. But then again, well, the pretty solid, this is where we're it? going. Um, so we're going walls and monarchy. Monarchy's good because you get two envoys mm. when you do it. So even though it's got three red slots, which is conceivably pretty shit, mm. you get two envoy, you get more envoy generation, which actually is, is kind it's of really better. Um, also, that what you get from these things is not all that good. These these other gov, these lower governments, um, the the, 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 the mid tier ones. Yeah. This one, all cities with district get plus one housing, plus one housing, not great. Plus fifty percent person points, not great. They've also removed the how long you're in uh, yeah. government for thing now. So they so, don't stack up a passive buff. Yeah, that, that used to be a thing that you'd stayed mm. in this government for a while. It would be like, oh, actually, I don't want to change to monarchy. But this housing kind of replaces the housing you lose. Um, you get more envoys and you get more influence points to get envoys. So a lot more envoys, in fact. It's 50% influence points and two envoys per turn. So should we go Republic for now? Um, actually, it's slightly less than it used to be. It used to be pretty much double. Now it's only like fifty percent better, plus fifty percent. So I guess it, overall it's the same. We'll go. We'll go classical republic for now, and we'll we'll slot in uh, the dark age card that we've wanted to slot in, and we'll see what that does to our science. So our science is at I can't read it. Actually, this it's at eleven at the moment, and so we'll see what that does. But I assume it will take it up to well, eleven point nine. Um, it'll take it up to almost twenty, which is pretty good. Um, if we had Pingala, we could even take it mm. another, 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 another four. So we want charismatic leader, right? This one we want, yeah, to get just more envoys. This one, probably we're not. Because we're used. stacking our envoys for now, aren't we? And then we could reduce the cost of purchasing tiles. Oh yeah, because we're, we're going to do that in a minute. Buy a couple of tiles and then swap this out. And again. then next time, yeah, get rid. Cool. All right. So we'll buy this tile probably. Yeah. And buy maybe this tile. Yeah, we can probably let's do it right now. Buy this before we totally here, forget about it, and send the builder straight there. Can we go get this stone as well? We we will forget about it otherwise. With what? Oh yes. Well, let's let's do our buying now. Then we'll buy that stone that we know. And we And then want. we can change that card straight away. We haven't actually researched uh, bronze working to actually harvest this one. But oh, we can shit. do that. Okay. We want to get this one as well. Have we not killed three buffs. Right, that's all of our gold spent. So we can change that that tenet huh. out next time. Cool. Um. So let's pick something which is slightly quicker. There isn't anything. We'll pick this one just because we want to change that that, that, that tile out ASAP. Sometimes I like to leave mm. this on like as a, as a cheap like as a cheap card quick swapper one yeah. to save me money if I'm lazy. But again, this is part of the Civ game. Like you kind of have to be more prepared than we are. Um, so this is going to be builder settler settler. We're going to put settler mm. over here. So I kind of need to have a look over there, really. Yeah, we do. We need to have a little scout. Maybe we should build a military unit and go clear that bio camp to get our golden age. Yeah, I think we can do that. We can just upgrade these. Yeah, let's build an actual archer. Let's build an actual archer. It's probably cheaper than upgrading it. Um, we can't afford the upgrade now. We spent all our money. Well, I haven't seen India gearing up for war with us. They're not happy no. with us, but they're not actually... They don't seem to be getting aggressive. They're... If it, if an AI is going to attack you, there's usually going to be something yeah. here. If that was the case, but People do you know what? I'm feeling confident anyway because we got these builders. Yeah, and we're, we're about to chop. spurt out a lot of units. So um, I think we just go for it. Cool. So this is 42 production, which is chop, a, lot, chop. a lot of production, and we're going to go government plaza, and we're going to put it down. Uh, this is an industrial site. This is probably a commercial or this is a commercial hub. So we could put the government... Well, no, this here. one wants to be industrial, doesn't it? Because it's almost completely surrounded by hills. Oh, yeah, that can be the industrial. And this can be the commercial. commercial so yeah. we can put the... Put it where the, the builder is. Yeah. So where the builder is. Bam. And then when we build our city here, we can build some some hubs around it, mm -hmm. potentially. Maybe like maybe like a harbour and a commercial. Something like I don't know. Some, we'll something like that. Let's figure it out. Uh, stone. Let's go and get that. Let's go and chop all this stone down. Cool. Okay, so this is this is this is the the, the, the fun bit. 
that we've been building. This is the what whole... the whole the whole build is toward going towards this. Ah, oh, double whales. Okay, that's pretty nice. We can settle here, mm -hmm. and we can build a fishery here. Yeah. Okay. No, this is legit. Okay, I'm happy. Here comes the government plaza straight Rose out. Is the mirror. Right. So, this guy's built a worker. Let's get that improved. Let's go and clear the barb camp. Let's go and have a little scout on the end of the, on the thing. Move this guy to here. Let's chop this. So we can now we can build our government plazas. Now, yeah, now these, these, these we couldn't even build these. Bear that in mind until yeah. we got this government. So, yeah. I mean. So we're pretty on track. We've done up it until as now, fast as possible. Not really. Like if we built the government plaza earlier, we could have had an additional license. So we've been, we've been given a license right now from building that, yeah. and we can put a guy down. So, I mean, think about what we've missed out on. We've missed out on having a governor who would take five turns before we can build a mm. builder or a governor. I'm thinking what we do is we get the governor with land acquisition. We put him here. Yeah, and spread. He, and then once he's spread out, we mm. swap. Once we're done with things here, we swap the two. Or right. we, we put and the land action guy over chopping. here and we chop out all of the things that he's acquired. That's my feeling. Mm -hmm. But alternatively, we put Pingala here and we get 20% science in the I think that's age. better because you don't want to move these guys around too much. I think so. And the moving is really inefficient. So let's put this guy in here. And also because we know we're getting a big fucking science boost. Yeah. Let's slam him in and start slamming towards this. Uh, see, see what I mean? It's easy to get three speciality districts to get Petra a lot easier than it used yeah, to be. Yeah, yeah. That used to be kind of that a bit tricky work. because you couldn't really do it until you had the currency already. Um, so but mean, now the government plaza is an extra thing that you can build earlier. Yeah. Should we go for industrial districts now? I think we could we could quickly do industrial districts, and that might be the way to win. We should start building mines as well to make, get that boost. Now, how are we going to do that if we don't have any? See what I mean? It's a bit well, tricky. we were going to build a bunch around here, weren't we? Around where that industrial. Oh, right. Then that needs us to have uh, builders. Mm -hmm. So let's chop out. Would you like to chop out another builder? 56 production? Yep. It's pretty good, isn't it? Or we could build out a government plaza building. Oh, yeah. yeah. Now, the government plaza building. So, th like I said before, this is the one that gives you settlers. Mm. So, this is the earliest we could possibly build production for settlers. Well, that's okay because we still want three more free settlers, don't we? So I think we do. Let's let's do it. The alternative, plus four housing in cities with governors. Mm. Now, four housing is a lot, but we can build more of these. No, you can't. You can only choose one of these. But no, like another. No, you can only build one plaza. Oh right. And you can only build one of these in it. Oh, I thought you could have multiple plazas. No, you have to pick. Oh shit. So this okay. is quite an important pick choice because last time I played, I. I built the audience chamber because I knew I was only going to have five or six governors mm. and they all had plus four housing. And that four housing was mm, so massive. big yeah, yeah, yeah. because, you know, it was very, very big. Mm. And, and these cities, I had cities, I literally had, I was looking at the AI, they had like 10 cities, but they were all like 12 to 15 pop. I had six cities. They were 30 pop. Mm, holy shit. Before neighbourhoods. Like 20 yeah. to 30 pop before neighbourhoods. And if you're not sprawl, we're not going to be a sprawling empire. This is going to be like, you know, four or five really good cities. Now, so. I'm not saying we have to. If, as long as we're like good at housing and like mm. pay attention to it. But but I think this can sometimes let you take your eye off the housing. Yeah. Um, however, I think for this case, weirdly, we're going to do this one. Because we're going to put this out. Because we've got so much resources coming in. We can build this instantly yeah and then we can go settlers but we next turn we can put the card in yeah um so i think that's not going to overflow us too much actually mm -hmm. we'll, we'll send him here we'll send him oh here. he wants to go build mines for um for the tech that's true and we'll put we'll put another builder another builder okay he can go build the mines and we'll so. put a builder here and we'll go and do a lot building build arena we'll use our government um so so Building that building has given us another another title. title, yeah. So now we can get another governor. Or so we should get another governor for our border town because we get minus loyalty in cities without governors. Or we can get the the thing which this guy does, which is the the no settlers human destruction. Mm, oh yeah, and if so we're we can save out, three settlers. pop, which I think is fine because then also mm -hmm. he'll let us build the industrial zone districts better. Okay. So let's get him get up that graded. So this is something that I could have put points in earlier. That's. But that, that's that, perfect that could be your second point. Because we're only just building the settlers now, so that works. We're, we're doing a, a bit of an unusual 
build in a sense that we're doing a combination of a little bit of early building with the, the settler card and a little bit of late building. I think if you wanted to be efficient mm -hmm. and awesome, you could say, I'm going to build all my settlers at once at a certain time once I'm ready. You could wait for That's the just stars very risky line. though, isn't it? It is. And getting sometimes it's just not worth it. Like yeah. paying the little bit more to get a settler slightly more expensive for having this city well, yeah, working this, this city's going to be a certain size before you, the uh, settler was even would have been built. Exactly. Now, obviously, now we're building the settlers with super, super mega rate. Okay, so we yeah. can put this car back in. Yeah. Um, everything else everything is else wants fine because we still want some builders. And we can build the camp here. I can actually chop the forest chop the, off the camp. Oh, okay, do the foxes stay? They do. Fuck it, we're doing it. Crunch. There's a settler. So when he when he settles, which I think we're going to put him here, right? Yeah. Do you want to here or here? Uh, I think there. Um, when he settles... Oh, more settlers. Okay. Let's build a mine here. Let's go and that, start mining this area. Because we need up. the mines down soon or we won't get the, the Eureka. Oh, well, we're going to do these silver anyway, won't we? Yeah. But still, the, the, the tech's pretty close. Um... Ancient walls. Probably not in the capital. Well, it's gonna gonna trigger the uh, Eureka, which is always nice. Uh, but we don't need it. Now we're a little bit free. Because yeah. we're building settlers here and we're chopping. So the capital can actually build something nice. So we don't need to build settlers here and we don't want to build settlers here. We can build more builders, um, potentially, because we might need some builders here to chop all this away. Mm -hmm. We're gonna need a fucking shitload of builders, basically. We're gonna need builders at this city. Yeah, that's true. Let's just keep hitting builders. Get everything, everything tasty. And obviously, we can't build another. And obviously, I think this is even working. A couple of tiles that are not that are not even upgraded. Not good. So let's get those done. Um, could consider building a wonder. I mean, the oracle's available. Um, yeah, great people cost less faith. Uh, Passage of great people cost twenty percent five less, less faith. Districts get plus two great people. That's pretty good. Which is very good. Where can we build it? Over here. It's not the worst use of our time. That's true. And turns. getting a wonder gives us a eureka, doesn't it? It does for this thing. It makes it cheaper. Uh, again, like this is this is flexible at this point. I mm. feel like I, I I want to stick with the builder. I want to get all of our stuff upgraded. We're gonna stick to our our, our build, which is um, another settler, which here, is double triple settler, settler attack, settler apocalypse, settle apocalypse. Uh, we've oh, met the Cree, Penmaker. which is nice. Oh. It's a good thing that we've only met him just now because yeah, more points. We're already <laughs> we're already twenty twenty into this gold. Well on our thing. way. Right, um, chop, chop, chop. We're just gonna keep removing things. Yeah. It's pretty terrifying, isn't it? Look at that. Look how quickly they build. So these are going up in price. Yeah. But so we not want that on the f this one here. Yeah, we'll do that. We haven't got aqueduct though. That's all right. We don't need it straight away. Because everyone's got the housing from the government district. So we we, it's not until he hits seven or eight that we're going to need a, a, an aqueduct. No well, I'll show you how bad it is in that case. And it'll be a useful learning exercise yeah. for you. Because building a house with no... Building a city with no, no housing water. is actually a bit of a disaster. Um, uh, is he he's denouncing us, I think. Oh, no. No, just shit-talking us. Well, now, India's got a lot of warriors here now, which is... Yeah, should we pull our warrior back? A little bit hill. unnerving. It'd be nice to get that iron, but... I, I mean, we didn't see that iron because we were a little bit late in getting bronze working, actually. Yeah. But, um, we might want to consider not going for... for, for we, we might really want to consider going for the flipping um, crossbows instead. Instead of the industrial district. Yeah. Partly because we get A, the aqueduct, and B, the crossbows are actually pretty relevant defence. Okay, you know, should we especially get the, in our multiplayer Should we get the walls down then? In um, that border town. Well, the pro problem is we, we, we can't get defensive tactics until we get both of these side ones. Oh, yeah. And this is blocked by construction, this is blocked by one. Yeah, we're, we're, we're not going to get any of those. I, I, I don't think we are. Well, I mean, construction is, is here. But again, it's not on the way to crossbows, and no. it's not on the way to mines. Yeah. So it feels like a shit. It's, it's not what we want to be doing. It's like nowhere in useful territory for. I for, think we should even though we've got all this extra science. Apprenticeship. To be Do you think we should just just shove through and hope? Yeah, we're not I mean, get we'll, we'll get some more archers. Get, get bring him home and get him upgraded. Um, get the other guy upgraded. And like bring them over. Yeah. I reckon we can hold. 
you want me to send this guy back? Yeah. All right, because if the barbs do Because it attack, takes a long time, and the barbs are not the end of the world. But this settler needs some cover. Oh, yeah, he's heading over there. Okay, yeah, so that one archer covers him. All right. Okay, there we are. We've been attacked. Um, it was it was expected. Mm -hmm. um, well, at least we, you know, we started preparing. We started preparing, and it's not the worst. Oh, and now we've got the boost towards defensive tactics. <laughs> sure. That is always a nice thing to have. We're just going to change to archer here, yeah. and we're going to build an archer here. And we, we should be able to hold him off with archers alone. I think we need to leave this archer here. I don't know, man. There's no one there. 